Hey everyone, it's Joe Lines here with Isaiah, and we were um, we were we were reviewing some of the updates to our screen clipping tool. And uh, Dale, uh, uh, a friend and user, had mentioned that he was having some problems with updating the script and running it. And he sent us a little video documenting it. And Isaiah was just he was starting to explain it, not not explain, but remind me. And I'm like, yeah, I, I get it. It is hugely valuable. But um, he was going to show me how with using Git he can revert to earlier versions and kind of really test and see what's going on. So Isaiah, why don't you show us exactly how you're yeah, doing this? Sure. So basically what I'm going to do right now is kind of like, um, why would I need this right. kind of thing right. with, 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 and it's a real life example of why yeah. would you need that? So basically- <laughs> to, to Let me jump in a little bit more. For most things that like I, I'm typically doing, I don't care, I'd be like, Dude, we're on the next level. Just get the news right. right. But yeah, this is like the real grown-up kind of way of programming, right? Like you have yes. people that have different instances out there, and you made the right. thing where they should hit a button and hit update, and it doesn't and, work, and it doesn't way. work as and expected, then, right? Yeah, how do how if I had didn't have this, it would be hard to go get that exact version that he had. Now in Dropbox, now, I might be able to kind of figure it out, but like it would be... But that's the thing. So if, if you are doing this folder thing that you usually do, like you just copy the folder, right? Now, uh, how do you know which version is which, right. right? So it is kind of annoying. That's the reason why it's good to have a versioning system. In which, my case, I'm... Which uh -huh, is... Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but um, I was talking with Jean Lalonde the other day um, about he was he's going to start trying VS Code and... Okay. We were talking about the webinar you led on it, uh, which we, we were both saying was so great. And then, then I was telling him, I was talking to you about it, saying, you know, I understand VS Code is great and Git is great, but when I watch you do stuff, it's more that I'm learning how to program than it is to use like the editor and use Git, right? Because <laughs> your process of how you do things you know, is it's the process really that like, to me, I'm going, wow, like you have some great tools for doing it, but it's that process. It's so different the, the, from what that's I'm doing. the point, right? So the process and, and, and that's the beauty of it. When, when VS code and Git help you have a process that makes sense, that's the point of the tools right now, in this case, um, what I'm expecting is that anybody who has a version from uh, 1.27 on can just simply click update and they, it should work. But when I see the email, he you said you said that he has version 1.27.2, and I'm like, hold on, by that time it should have been fixed. Now, here in my code, if we take a look at my code right now, you see that my script has version 1.29.4. Now, just by the click of a button, I just go backward here on my graph and I see that the version point 1.27.2 is right here. This is my master branch, which is the, gr the green one. And I always use the master branch because that's the one that my users are gonna look at, right? So I just right click on that and I just say, check out. As soon as I did that, now my whole script is at that particular version. And I, that's it. I didn't have to figure it out. I didn't have to look for it. I'm running the script that he's running. Now I'm going to test this script and see what is going on. So um, the first thing that I'm going to check is the update function, which is the one that he's having issues with. So I'm going, <clears throat> okay. So I take a look at the links at where he's pointing at. So let me just go ahead and grab that, copy it and go to my website, uh, to, to a website, download it, and double check that when he downloads it, that he's getting what I'm expecting that he's going to get. So let me go ahead and get this out. Just drag it or open it with VS Code, whatever, whatever editor you have, doesn't matter. But the one thing that I want to verify is that, look at that, that zip file contains the latest version. So my script should be downloading the latest version. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what is going on on his end. So um, just because we'll, we'll keep troubleshooting this, but for the video, I think it makes sense just to say, you know, what I wanted to highlight was just that general concept of how easy it is to revert back to a different version. Yeah, you can it is. test exactly what was done and what's going on. Um, and, right. and then of course, once we solve it, you could, you know, you can, choose how to, you know, you can, you can, of course, just 
either uh, if if I made a if I made a mistake or something that I'm not taking into consideration, or there's something in his computer that is making the problem. Because right now, as of yet, I see that the files are pointing to the correct location. Right. I'm just gonna run the script myself and perform the update myself and see what happens. So I'm gonna save this. Again, I am running version um, 1.27.2, right? So if I right click, check for updates, it should tell me, okay, there is a new version. I say, yes, it should actually do the process of updating it. And after I do that, I should have the new version. Look at it, it just changed. Yeah. So in my computer, and if I go now and click about, I've got the new version. So I know that in my computer is working. Now, look at this. I just did all that, but I don't want to keep any of that. Let me go back to my code, how I had it. I right click, check out, and it's going to tell me, oh, look, you have changes on your... No, I, I just want to check out my branch and make sure... Let me go ahead and... All the changes, I just want to dismiss them, discard all my changes, and I don't care because in the end, I will just reset my, my, um, my program to this. I'm going to check out my branch, and all my changes are going to be fine. I didn't lose anything. So I could just go ahead and switch between branches mm -hmm. or commits and even though i discarded the changes and and i did no, no no i have everything saved and everything looks exactly how it was at that point in time that's the beauty of this kind of things and, and help me just understand this because this is where I, I get i still get confused the the stuff you just did there was that actually pulling from get it all or is that still local things um on your computer and it's just swapping them out okay so uh just when you say you you're trying to say if it pull it from github yeah sorry yeah i know no, it no, is no. the verb yeah sorry right sorry. right so so bro no in this case everything that i just did is local stuff i haven't done anything with github okay. thank you what i just did i could just do i could just do it even if i'm not connected to the internet i could just go ahead and switch to a different version come back to where i was without actually even having to do nice. that yeah and that like but i yeah. said that's a part that i still get confused on exactly when when you're working locally uh versus with with github i think i think i think i mentioned that uh the last time we were talking about 100 percent of the time you're working locally unless you hit push and pull well, that's but, it yeah but what see because to me the second that we were dealing with and i forget what you called them what's the the, the the master the the, the main the branch, branch right the master branch and the development development branch so and that's, so on. yeah that was why i was thinking possibly because it was an actual release that maybe we were pulling from github that, that no no not at all not at all <laughs> so the, the, all the time you're working locally and locally you have the branches the okay. master branch the development branch and you have a copy of all that and that's the point you have a copy of everything. Now, the only time that you pull from GitHub or push to GitHub is when you manually push and pull. Okay. At any other second, you're dealing with the local changes that you have. Awesome. Well, thanks for the quick overview. I hope everyone understands how amazing being able to do this is now whether you use vs code to do it or whatnot right but just the general yeah process. exactly it doesn't matter how you do it the only thing is that vs code makes you do it with right click and just just that's it right <laughs> yeah all right thanks man